one to record earlier, but I end up falling asleep and taking a nap, which is actually very fitting for what I'm about to talk about, because in this nap I was resting, <laughs> and this week, or the last couple weeks, weeks really, I've really learned the value of rest, because I've spent most of it on five or five hours of sleep, give or take, every night this week. And it left me, you know, slow and a mess at work. Rest can be important for our bodies. But I'm not just talking about physical rest. I'm also talking about, you know, spiritually and resting in Christ and all that. And the, today we'll be looking in uh, Matthew 11:28. The word for rest that we're going to be using here is anapuo, and it describes different types of rests and I'm sure that uh, the Old Testament has its own version of this word but today we're just going to look at the the New Testament version of the word the Greek word come to me all you who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest this is Matthew eleven twenty eight. and this translation box here reads the the phrase give rest it's anapuo this word can refer to several types of rest the first is somewhat negative with connotations of slothfulness a rest taken at the wrong time when there is still work to be done the disciples napped when they should have been staying up praying with jesus mark 14:41 the rich man trusted only in his riches unaware that death would soon come for him Luke twelve nineteen. More positive, however, is the soul deep, much needed refreshment granted by support from others. First Corinthians sixteen eighteen and second Corinthians seven thirteen. Phylum or Phylum I don't remember that how to pronounce that one. The chapter but it's in chapter seven of that book and finally there is the final eternal rest promised by god in revelation 14 13 see the most important rest of all is spiritual rest and that's what christ was talking about here he gives us rest not only from our sins but also the guilt and condemnation when we hold on to that guilt we're not at rest but he died to free us of that guilt and it really is a blessing that thanks to Christ we can, you know, rest in more ways than one. Because not only are we free from that guilt of our sins, but we don't have to try to work to earn our salvation. Because the Bible says we couldn't do it anyway. We're too sinful. If we fail at one commandment, we fail at it all. That's how powerful the law is. But Jesus died taking the punishment for our sins. And because of that, if you want, God made it to where, you know, if you want to obey, obey believing. Believe in Christ, and it's all credited to you. And this is a blessing, and it helps us to rest. It's a, and it's a wonderful spiritual rest. Anyways, guys, I hope I didn't sound too groggy, because I am still a little tired. I do need a little more rest, but I wanted to make this uh, video now, because I don't know exactly what the weekend is going to unfold, and I don't know if I'll get the opportunity again. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I hope it's blessed you, and God bless you guys for watching.